Hey everybody, I'm Christina Carecakes and, and I'm Raymond. Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new to the channel, welcome to the hoppiest vlog on YouTube. All right, you guys, so today is our second part of our vacation here in Costa Rica. We are on our way to Capos and we're heading out of Monte Verde. And as I mentioned in the beginning of the last vlog, I got really sick driving up to Monte Verde because the roads here are absolutely wild. Nothing like the roads you see in Florida. And as you can see, we just got on the dirt road and it is super rocky. But I'm about to show you guys what it's like driving in and out of Monte Verde with our captain here, Reckless Ray. So as we're making our way through these winding and twists and turns of this road outside of uh, Monte Verde, I just want to show you guys the views because they're absolutely breathtaking and you know this is just not what we see in Florida at, at all and it's quite the opposite I'm not used to it so it's just such a moment to capture and hold on to and once there's an opening oh you'll definitely get a good view Like I was mentioning, these roads are just twists and turns. This part is too and bad, down. but there's some parts where there's just pothole after pothole. Some parts <laughs> are even paved. That's right. The potholes here are insane. Like they're not just little potholes; they're like pot ditches. <laughs> but as you can see, they're just winding, winding, and winding. And we did rent a car for our vacation just because we didn't want to rely on catching buses or taxis. And I could definitely say it was the way to go. Um, four by four is definitely recommended. And we did read a lot of things before making a decision on a car. And originally we were going to get a vehicle sedan. Um, but we're able to talk our guy into giving us a 4x4, which I'm so glad we did because with the rain and the rocks Gravel and the hills, hills, it was so worth it. So if you do want to rent a car on your stay here in Costa Rica, especially Monte Verde, I definitely say get a 4x4 vehicle. And okay, so real quick, I got to point this out. Look at, look at this crossing sign here. You see these driving around all over the place and it's actually for Jaguar Crossing, Puma Crossing, and Monkey Crossing. Definitely not the norm in the US, right? <laughs> so we're about an hour away from our destination still, but we're starting to get along the beach and it's crazy to see the difference between the mountains and the ocean. Um, here it's like a lot more of like a touristy feel, a little more Americanized. I see lots of like condominium buildings on the beach. Um, but the ocean is beautiful. We already took a little pit stop and checked it out and it was so cool. Um, I'm not used to seeing a beach with mountains across it. It's an absolutely beautiful landscape. And I just had to uh, tell her I'm gonna pull over again because the waves I'm seeing coming off onto the shore are massive. I'm gonna see if I can find some of the waves breaking along the shore so you can see how big these waves are, it's crazy. So here we are at the beach, and as I was saying, you can see some of the condo buildings over here. Down there is the ocean, and you can see there's not a set coming in right now, but I just want to show you guys the mountains across the way. It's absolutely beautiful, like I mentioned in the car just now, and you can see it over here in the distance, but look at that. It's like a painting. It's so, it's so pretty. <laughs> Check it out. Oh my gosh. I wish we had this in Florida. <laughs> Just look at that. I feel like we should see like a mermaid on one of these rocks. <laughs> okay, you guys, I'm a little out of breath because it's a little hike to our next destination, but we just arrived in Capos and the weather here is a lot more warmer than it is in the mountains. As you can see, I'm wearing a turtleneck and I definitely need to get changed. But I figured I'd go ahead and give you guys a tour of our next location here in Cuepos. So we start our little descent down these stairs, which is why I'm out of breath, because <laughs> I just climbed all the way up these stairs. 
but I promise you it's worth the hike. So as we continue our descent, we will make a left into our Airbnb, which is absolutely beautiful and a completely different style, environment versus the last one we were in, in Monte Verde. So as you can see, this is the entrance to our Airbnb. And here it is. Hola, como estas? <laughs> and here they have another butler as well. Isn't that just great? Here is our little kitchenette and dining table, equipped with a little cupboard as well for lots of that local Costa Rican coffee, a little lounge area or living room, I guess. We even have our little bed here. And check this out, isn't this so sweet? Little lovebirds, for the lovebirds. Our little closets, somewhere to sit and catch your breath after going up and down those stairs. Here we have our shower with a little uh, waterfall shower head. There's me. What about me? Oh. The butler. And the butler. Our little porcelain pony. But. Wait, there's The best more. part of all, without doubt, is the outside area. Are you guys ready for this? Here is our pool. And check out this view, you guys. What? Do I really have to go back to Florida after staying here? This is absolutely breathtaking. And best of all, our host is right next to us. So he just informed us with all the information as far as wildlife is concerned that we can see here at our Airbnb. You can see sloths, monkeys. We've heard of a few macaws and even seen a few already when we stopped at a local cafe. And best of all, toucans, which I have been dying to see since we got into Costa Rica. I'm hoping that we will see the toucan eventually, sometime soon, during our stay here. We're gonna go ahead and get unpacked and settled into our Airbnb, and I'll see you guys on our next adventure. Good morning, you guys. It is the next day here in Capos, and I have a very exciting thing to share with you guys. We are currently surrounded by wild monkeys, and we actually are sharing a little bit of our breakfast with them, which is just some grapes but this is absolutely incredible. I have to show you. So it's a little family. And as you can see, they're all just hanging out. Some of them are even dipping in the pool, which I think is pretty cute. But here, I'm gonna show you. Hi, ew, ew. Oh, and there he goes. Oh wow, he's even sitting down right next to me right now. So they're getting pretty comfortable with us. At first they were just running away and now they're just uh, having breakfast with us. It's so cool. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is wild. <laughs> I, I got one for you too. Oh. oh my gosh, it doesn't get any better than this. I'll tell you what. So before we head out on today's adventures, I never had a chance to show you guys the second pool on the property that also has a grill. And let's not forget to mention this little cutie. Hi, you checking out the sneakers? Huh? Hi, you wanna say hi to everyone on the vlog? Yeah? Okay. <laughs> all right, you guys, let's check out the grill area. Um, okay, first of all, I cannot get over the fact that we just fed wild monkeys. That's just mind-blowing. Okay, so here we are in the pool area. So this is the other pool on the property. It is the public pool, and it still has that gorgeous, breathtaking view and lots of opportunity to see wildlife as well. There's a grill, this cutie again, this monkey. <laughs> and a little table for you to enjoy your, your meal. Yeah, hopefully I'll get him to grill before we leave this place. And the little kitchen area. Pretty cool, right? So since the last adventure we had with the monkeys, it started to rain pretty heavy here. Uh, just a side note for you guys, if you do come here in the summer, the US summer, for your vacation in Costa Rica, do you expect rain every day? Honestly, I don't mind it. I think it kind of adds to the experience here in the jungle. But we decided that we're going to do a little bit of surfing. Uh, luckily for me, I grew up on a beach, so I have a lot of practice with the surfboard. I suck. And yeah, no comment to that. <laughs> so we're going to grab some coffee to fuel up, and then we're going to hit the waves. So let's go get our caffeine fix. Oh my gosh, so we just got back. 
and look what we are seeing you guys wild toucans this was such a little treat just because we weren't able to get our surfboard today and we couldn't even get our coffee so this really just made up for both of those things i have been dying to see wild toucans the entire time on our trip and it's finally happening words can't describe how happy i am right now in this moment and best of all there's more than one there is one oop, there's one right there and there's another one right there how cool is that these birds are so beautiful this footage is just not doing it justice so me and Raymond just finished making, well, actually, you didn't do anything. I just finished making a super delicious meal and I have to show you guys. Um, we've actually cooked a couple of times during vacation and I really enjoyed it. I think it makes dinners a little more intimate, but I have to show you what I made. This is our little kitchenette area and, um, I, of course, had to make rice and beans. That's just a staple, and that's a lot of rice, but we're trying to make the rest before we leave and go back to the U.S., um, and we have some fresh cut-up veggies, and check out this mushroom. We got this giant mushroom. This was one uh, from a little organic market here, and if you look at it, it looks just like chicken, and we just got, like, some seasonings, and some olive oil and threw it in a pan and you guys it's it's delicious um it also side story i i cut the mushrooms that's the side story no I that's I not we need to talk about this bad boy right here okay <laughs> you guys if you've been to costa rica you've probably seen this logo everywhere on every business okay listen how many times have we seen that logo beer, yeah, at least a million times <laughs> okay this is costa rican beer now i don't like to drink not my thing but we gotta try it i it, like we need to see what the hype is all about with imperial <laughs> okay is it time We'll get a little crack know. one open. <laughs> I don't know if you can show this on YouTube. You might have to just focus on. Oh. <laughs> What's up, you guys? Okay. Boop. Tastes like all the cheap American beer. No way. You know what? I told Raymond this was going to be the Bud Light of Costa Rican beer. And it seems like it is. I don't really like beer. And if I do drink it, I think it's got to be like really rich and heavy. Like a coffee. Like a coffee. So I'm going to try it and we'll see. Uh, do, 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 do. <laughs> I like it's okay. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not a beer drinker, so I can't give this type of uh, rating. But let's make some tacos. Okay, so let's do it. Let's have some tacos. A la kazam! Oh, look at that. Taco time. Okay, you guys, I'm going to be really honest. Um, we ate, and I forgot. So this was our last round of tacos. But as you can see, it looks delicious. We have avocado, tomato, sour cream, and then that beautiful mushroom underneath, which I did share on my IG story. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, you should follow me on Instagram, at Christina Carrot Cakes. And some rice and beans, which we kind of like killed the beans. But yeah, you, you get the story. <laughs> All right, you guys, we're on our last day here on our trip in Costa Rica, and we are checking out the highlight of the area, which is called what? Manuel Antonio uh, National Park. Manuel Antonio National Park. And to our surprise, before even getting into the park, we got a chance to see the one animal we have not seen yet on our trip that is very common to the area, and that is a sloth. And I'm about to show it to you guys. He's just hanging out. This is so cool. Right, and there he is, right over there, hanging out. How cool is that? I am so happy. I feel like we've seen 
all the wildlife we need to see already in this park, but we're just getting started on our day. So let's, let's explore the national park. So first sighting of our, well, second sighting is a monkey on our hike here in the national park. That's his rear end, of course. He's not facing the camera. There he is. And uh, he's just hanging out. So we just had our next wildlife spotting here and it's pretty cool. Something already common in Florida though. And it's these colorful little crabs and you can see their brightly colored uh, red legs here. And they're just uh, having a snack here, enjoying breakfast. So we just made it to the beach side of the national park and it's, it's so pretty. Again, things I'm not used to in Florida. Um, just the cliffs and the mountains or hills. So beautiful, just wait. So here is the view. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Raymond taking some photos of course, but this is so pretty. I'm really gonna miss beaches like this. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys can hear that. But that is a howler monkey. So me and Rima are gonna try and find it for you guys and for us as well, and see if we can spot those howler monkeys that are howling up in the trees. We were able to spot the howler monkey and I'll try and get it right over, uh, right there. That, in that little area is the howler monkey. And he's making his little calls. Raymond's over here trying to get a shot of him. They're being a little shy. Maybe we'll be lucky and we'll get a little more comfortable and come forward on our way back. They'll be a little closer. We'll see. So we just took some photos by the beach and uh, check out this little guy I found. Ooh, ooh, hold on. He's, uh, he's coming out. Here he is. Oops. Beep, beep. Oh. He's okay guys, I promise. Um, yeah, there's like a ton of little hermit crabs here, which you don't ever see the beach in Florida. So, kind of cool. So we just spotted some more monkeys while hiking up to the next beach and there he is right there. You can see his back, it's like cream colored. There's another one too in the area, but I can't find him, he's not visible. But yeah, hopefully we'll find some more wildlife along this trail. So we just made it to our next beach in the national park. This one is full of all these like rock formations and ton of little tide pools that are full of these little fishies like this one right over here. I'll get him to move for you. Oh, he ran under the rock. There's also one over here. If you can see him, where is he? Oh, there he is. He's like the little tiny leopard fish over here. He's just cruising around in a circle, so I'll let him be. But yeah, this is so cool. Just spotted another iguana. He looks pretty cool in all these palm tree branches, like a little dinosaur. So cool. All right, so we're making our exit out of the national park. Uh, after that swim, I definitely worked up an appetite, so I think it's time to go back, shower, and grab some food. And best of all, we already know we're gonna eat. I'm super excited because it's sushi time. Sushi. <laughs> Got some coconuts on our way out because we were so thirsty on the trail and the coconut was only a thousand colonas. But look at this piece of coconut meat. Oh my gosh, it's so good. And down the hatch it goes. So good. Mm. <laughs> so we just got out of the shower to clean off before we go get sushi. And guess what, you guys? Our Airbnb host brought us another coconut. So we're having two coconuts. And honestly, I have no shame about this. But can I just say we have like the nicest Airbnb host ever. Um, I have a lot of people asking where we, where we are staying specifically. And it's called Manuel Antonio. And the name of the Airbnb is what? Casa Libertini. Casa Libertini. You can tag them. And I will tag them so you guys can check it out if you ever want to go to Cape Os because this property is amazing, the wildlife, the view, the host, and let's not forget to mention this super adorable dog on property. <laughs> 
as we were about to get our sushi for dinner, we heard some monkeys coming and this is actually the one species of monkey we have not seen yet. And these are squirrel monkeys. And I'm gonna see if they're gonna come a little bit closer, but you can see they're in these trees over here. And there they are. They're so tiny. I could see why they are called squirrel monkeys. And there's even one up over here. Oh, these are so cute. Oh my goodness. I love their cries too. They are very unique as far as monkey sounds. They sound like birds more than monkeys. You guys won't believe what's in front of us right now, but the squirrel monkeys came up to us and we're giving them more fruit. Um, I can tell they've never seen a strawberry before, so they're kind of inspecting it. Try it. It's yeah. good. Don't be afraid of the strawberry. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and put it on a branch and uh, see if he'll take it and what he thinks of the strawberry. But they're they're just right there hanging out. So adorable. They definitely like the banana over the strawberry. The strawberry's still there. Oh, this one to the left. Oh, okay. Here comes one. We'll see what he wants. Hey, you want some? Come on. Check it out. Oh, okay, he wants more. <laughs> All right, you guys, that's it for the monkeys. Time to get some sushi and quit monkeying around. Ah. <laughs> okay, so we just made our way to the beach to catch a sunset because it is our last sunset here in Costa Rica, which is kind of a bittersweet moment. But I am excited to get home because I really do miss my Wookiee and I really do miss my twinkle toes. But the beauty here I am going to hold on to forever and I do want to share the sunset with you guys. So I'm going to show you the view right now. It's so beautiful. Here it is, you guys. Our last sunset. Costa Rica. Oh my gosh, this is just so beautiful. I will definitely be leaving a piece of my heart here on the shore of Costa Rica. We just made it to a sushi spot and so, and I have to point something out real quick. We're having dinner with geckos. Check them out. They're like hunting and eating all the little flies going by the thing. There's one right there. There's one right there, one right there. There was one over here and there was one on the white wall. I don't know where those guys went, but yeah. We're having dinner with geckos. <laughs> Our appetizers just made it to the table and we got a uh, seaweed salad here with some avocado and vegetable gyoza. It's about to go down. We got so much food. Are you ready? Oh, no. <laughs> oh and of course we have to have a little photo shoot. We just got our last meal here hitting the table. Oh my gosh, you guys, check out the sushi. Doesn't that look incredible? And it's all vegan. I am so impressed with the way they did that for vegan sushi. And then of course they had ramen on the menu. I had to try ramen because ramen is my favorite food. And this is a curry ramen, which, oh my gosh, the smells coming from this table are just immaculate. We're about to tear this food up. We're out. Good morning, you guys. We are about to head to the airport. It is so early, I'm so tired. We were up late last night. But we get to end it with this beautiful view. I'm surely going to miss it. And some of this. Oh, and some of that as well. And coffee. But it's been great. So excited for our next adventure. We saw a toucan. We saw squirrel monkeys. All before we're leaving. Now it's off to the airport. All right, you guys. We made our way to the airport and are enjoying our last cup of Costa Rican coffee. I hope you guys enjoyed the trip as much as we did. And if you haven't already, be sure to sprinkle some pixie dust on that like and subscribe button. And until next time, make every day magical. Or as the locals say, Pura Vida. <laughs>